Hi, I'm Michelle Olders with Virginia State University and Virginia Cooperative Extension. And we're standing here today with Mr. Robert Mills, Jr., a Pennsylvania County farmer who yesterday had the distinguished honor of winning the Swisher Sweets Sunbelt Ag Expo 2017 Farmer of the Year Award. Mr. Mills was selected from 10 states. He had already won Virginia Farmer of the Year, but was put into a pool with with 10 other states to win this distinguished award. Virginia hasn't taken home this award since I believe 2003. So this is a big honor for Virginia and for Mr. Mills and his family today. How did you accomplish this so quickly? It has been an, an incredible journey and you think about it, it seems like it's been forever because it's been such a long journey, but it really hasn't. Um, when I look at we actually started farming full time in 2001, and here it is 2017, in a matter of that many short years to be the, the Southeast Farmer of the Year is just incredible. And it wasn't anything that was done by me, myself. Uh, I had so much support, not only from family and friends, but those whose farms that I rent, the equipment dealerships that I deal with, uh, all those uh, boards and organizations that I represent, all of those collectively have made this come true. Very good. Why did you get involved in farming? I fell in love with agriculture after about two weeks of an eighth grade agricultural class and as I said in my speech yesterday, when I heard that FFA creed that first time, it really inspired me to want to be part of something bigger in life and what is bigger than American agriculture. And I was so inspired by the, at that age that I came home and I told my parents that I knew what I wanted to do with my life and that was to be a farmer. And it was a long, long tough journey to do that but with so much support from family and friends and those that I do business with, we finally made that dream come re become a reality October the 12th, 2001, when I quit my full-time job and became a full-time American farmer. That's awesome. So what do you think this award tells folks who want to get into farming? I hope that this is an inspiration to those individuals that are interested in agriculture, whether they want to be a full-time farmer or be part of the support, support team that we use each and every day in our business, uh, from the vendors that we deal with, those that supply resources to us, uh, that you need to work hard, uh, follow your heart, follow your dreams. Uh, as I've told a group yesterday, don't ever take no for an answer if it's your passion and it's what you want to do with your life, because only you can make that decision. That's great advice. What has been your biggest challenge as a farmer so far, would you say? One of the biggest challenges has been the amount of debt load that you have to carry. Being a first generation farmer, I've owed a lot of money over my lifetime and I've built, dealt with some really good banking institutions. Uh, when you start, when you have a startup business of any type, you, you feel leveraged for a good number of years and it takes a, a good number of years to get out from under that type of debt. So that's one of the biggest challenges that we've had is, is coming from nothing. We had to borrow a lot of money. And uh, one of the other challenges that we deal with uh, pretty regular in agriculture is regulations and uh, sometimes my own worst enemy could be my, actually my own government uh -huh. so we have to uh, we have to work with them to try to get through these challenges that we face uh, the decisions that are made uh, in Washington or, or, or in uh, Richmond uh, a lot of times have a direct effect on us as farmers and we just made it, need to make sure that legislation is passed as wise legislation and legislation that isn't a detriment to us as American farmers that makes sense what resources have you found the most helpful in your farming operation? Resources is people. People and being able to network with different, uh, different folks in the industry. Uh, I've learned a lot from the successes of others. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned mostly myself from my failures, but I enjoy watching the success of others and try to model a lot of our operation of what, what has worked and hasn't worked for other folks. Um, different organizations that I've been a part of in the leadership and training and opportunities that they've offered have really helped us to develop our farm operation to be as profitable as we can possibly be and to have some sustainability so that my son can come back to the farm and continue this legacy that we've started. That's awesome. So hindsight's 2020, right? If you knew in the early days of farming what you know now, what would you have done differently, if anything? You know, that's, that's a tough question to look at because I think we've accelerated about as fast as we could. Um, 
I don't know that we could have done anything different because the careers that came in front of me as a store manager for Royster Clark and as a conservation specialist for Pennsylvania County Soil and Water Conservation District really set the stage for me to be a better farmer. So I didn't know my plan from the very beginning, but somebody else did. And they set those things in motion for me so that it, all of these things combined has made me become a much better farmer. I would have liked to have accelerated it a little faster because when you have that dream at 13 and it becomes a reality 15 years later, you get become impatient. Sure. And um, But the, the patience uh, paid off. And uh, eventually that day that I came home and was a full-time American farmer was the proudest day of my life. So coming to the expo is always a fun learning experience and this year of course you are up for this award. But it takes time to be here. How are you able to get away from the farm for a few days? I am truly blessed to have good family and good friends. Uh, my 16 year old son is at home right, or well, has been home this week uh, helping run the farm. Uh, my dad, who did not farm, has been there helping him. And then I have some really good friends and neighbors that's been looking after the tobacco, the curing barns, getting the tobacco cured, checking cows. All of those things have come to work. Those uh, folks back home have supported me so much over the years, and I am truly blessed to have good family and good friends. Well, we're glad you're here. One last question. Where are you going to put the award? House or barn? It will definitely be in my house because I want everybody to see it when they come in. It'll be sitting right over top of the TV at the entertainment center, right underneath the tobacco leaf from our farm. And to remind people that dreams do come true and a conversation piece for those young people that come to the house to inspire them to follow their dreams. Thank you so much and congratulations again for being the Virginia Swisher Sweet Farmer of the Year. Thank you so much. It has been my pleasure and my honor.